we've got three weeks on the road. We've got camping gear and uh, we're also going to be couch surfing around unschoolers, spare rooms. Yeah, yeah. Shopping with my friend Lisa, who you might remember from our woofing camp last year. Helped us weave basically the whole farm. We love you, Lisa. <laughs> you. Definitely sage, yeah. So we are just in the high desert. The whole of the area is just covered in this beautiful sage, as far as I can see. But we've just stopped off here because we just went over this amazing canyon. Mona, Mona, please don't climb up there. Okay, that's it, just keep your feet there. Are you serious? Yes! Oh my gosh, one of Gina's jandals has blown off the bridge. One of her crops. It was in my hair, in my arm, under my arm. Don't try and look for it, okay? I'll... I'm so sorry to you think that again, Melinda. So there is my crock in America. <laughs> so we are just driving. We've just driven into Amquan National Forest where we're camping for a few nights. We've just kind of spotted that there is snow everywhere, all through the bush. <laughs> and we hadn't really registered that we would be camping amongst the snow.
loved them so much and they are always keen for an adventure. <laughs> so we're having more yummy food on the fire and we've had a few days, like three days, we keep adding nights. This is our third night now because we don't want to get on the road and stop camping. It is so touristy here, but I'm not kidding. This is one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. It's not slid down there, don't worry. This is the tick that we just pulled off Juno's head. It had just neck. been off her neck. It had just been sitting at the baseline of your hair. Mm. Okay, let's see it. Tim's gonna. Whoa, whoa! Let's just take a look. Oh, it's kind of like drunk on Juno's blood. Da, 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 da. That's what you do when when you put creatures in their <laughs> grave. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to take all of our clothes off, every single one of us, to make sure we don't have ticks elsewhere because all of a sudden my neck is pretty itchy. On our way um, back to New Zealand. We were very excited. Oh, we were just chatting about because it's Friday night, right? You'd think we'd get there when? Um, at. Just wait for this, this voice to finish. Malcolm Marie Pontin, passenger Paolo, Jonathan, Michael, please proceed. They're, they're going to miss their plane. Oh, no. Oh my goodness, they're so gonna miss their plane, rats. Um, so anyway, it's Friday night, we're on a plane for like 12 hours. So what day do you reckon we would get to New Zealand? Uh, I don't know. Like, you'd think we'd get there on Saturday morning, but do we? No, we get there on Sunday morning. Madness. It's like two days later. We lose a day, it's magicked away into the ether. But obviously it's just because we passed an international dateline, so. So what do you think about America, do you know? Mm, it was fun. Yeah? What was your favorite bit? Um, camping. <gasps> Mommy, I sleep. Oh yeah. Oh, Tim and Ramona are back. We'll pretend to be asleep. Someone's got some tactics. Can I have some? Yeah, I just need to open it. Got any final remarks? <laughs> Tim. Yes. How's it been? It's been really fun. But I'm really looking forward to driving on the left hand side of the road again. <laughs> but it's like some fluke of 
nature we didn't have a crash. Oh, whatever, because you're amazing. You kept us all safe. We're so grateful that Tim kept us safe, eh? You got any final thoughts about America? Um, I liked all the people here. Yeah, the people here are so fab. Our hearts are so full of all of the kindness from so many strangers. We've hung out with over 60 people, mostly unschoolers.